World Cup soccer players are now banned from wearing rainbow armbands on the field. Here is Fox News' Andy Banker on why the ban appears to be backfiring around the world and in St. Louis, too. There are calls for fans to boycott over this. Clearly, that's not happening. But it's also clear there seems to be very little support for FIFA's stance. Taken quickly by Trippier to Kane. English team captain Harry Kane still wore an armband that read, no discrimination. FIFA, the World Cup's governing body, approves of that one, but not this one. A rainbow band with the words, one love. The captains of seven European teams plan to wear them in support of LGBTQ rights in a nation where same-sex relationships are a crime. Pride St. Louis sees this as a big missed opportunity. No one really wins in this situation. And that what a statement that would have made if you went through with this and got disqualified and stood up for other people's rights and even rights of your teammates. The U.S. team has worn a rainbow crest and numbers in previous matches, though not wearing them at the World Cup. The crest is prominently displayed at the team's training center there. We have this mantra of be the change. And, and for us, it's about um, starting with the individual and um, understand that every individual has, has a, um, a right or an obligation to, to promote change on their own level. Among the World Cup throng watching the matches at the Amsterdam Tavern, banning armbands hardly seemed effective. I'm not surprised. It's not coming a mile away. So it's, you know. Four years' time, it's going to be over here. So that's, that's what we're going to look forward to. It'll be in the United States in four years. So that'll be, that'll be a hell of an event. It's 2022. I mean, come on. As Nelson Mandela said, I always use this quote, education is our greatest weapon in this fight against intolerance. FIFA has threatened a yellow card penalty for any player wearing a rainbow armband Players are disqualified if they get two yellow cards. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.